Hey guys, welcome back to the Streamlabs OBS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys um, just the most useful settings for either streaming or recording, depending on, what, depending on what you're using Streamlabs OBS for. Since I'm using it for both, so I have the best settings for them both. Um, and this is going through like different sources on the internet as well. So I'm not just basing it off my knowledge. Um, but obviously this Streamlabs is obviously known for just streaming. But, I use it for both, so I'm going to show you both. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is obviously the settings here, which is mostly what the only thing we're going to do here is the settings. Um, yeah, I'm going to minimize that just because I don't want that trippy screen <laughs> to be in the way. Alright, so, in general, there's nothing much you can change in general. It's mostly like your preference on what you want. Um, like output you can show confirmation on like everything or like automatically record when streaming you know it's just like extra tools you know to help you along streaming or recording um, and for these uh, for snap sensitivity the default it's by 10 but 10 is too much for me especially like if you like to move things around a lot um, I set mine to 2 it's probably a little bit too low for most people but it works for me so set that to what you want Five is a good number too, uh, or just keep it ten. Doesn't matter. Um, all right, and that's about it for general. Also, if you need to like delete cache and restart your stream labs, you would do it here as well. It's um, or if you if you're going for if you're getting any bugs or anything, you would upload your cache to developers and they would check it out. So that's general. In stream, streaming is pretty much where you would write your stream key off your whatever you're using like uh, you can use twitch youtube mixer uh, mixer f mixer f low la latency mixer normal facebook live restream uh, restream fast twitter um and also pick the server you want i i would recommend just keeping on auto as you can see here it's also it's also recommended by streamlabs um but you can also do a custom stream type a custom streaming server which is like if you're streaming off a server uh yeah, off a uh, a website, a custom website, or or like Mob Crush, if you want to stream multiple pl platforms at once, like I do, you would just type in the live dot mob crush dot rt whatever, and then the stream key here. So that's that's pretty much it. Or if you're logged in through Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, or Facebook, you just click use recommended settings, and then it'll show streaming to YouTube your account here, or streaming to Mixer your account, whatever. And then you would just hit go live and it'll just automatically start a live stream. But first you're going to have to type your title and all that stuff too. I'm going to put that back to what I have it on. There you go. All right. Output. This is probably one of the most important parts of streaming recording for your settings. Sorry about that. So streaming audio track. I usually keep the one you don't really edit streams unless you're actually recording your stream while you're streaming. Then I would suggest you know doing two or three depending on what you have playing in the background. Like right now I have two things. I have my mic and my uh, my desktop, which is the music you're hearing. So I would have two, and I can just edit both of those. Um, encoder, you, by default this is put on your processor. Most people recommend using a processor because it is usually faster than your graphics card. But for me, it's the opposite. My graphics card is better than my processor. Especially since uh, NVIDIA has a hardware system, so I end up using that encoder. Um, but this is also in, this is entirely up to your computer, whatever it handles it handles it easier. Rate control CBR. This is the best um, the best setting for streaming and recording. Uh, I've looked up like what which one would be better, and CBR is one I got the like the most. I don't actually, I think CBR is the only one I got. Uh, Bitrate, this all depends on your internet, your uh, resolution, your quality that you're streaming on. Um, Bitrate is pretty much all the, the, how much internet you're sending the server to stream. So um, if you're doing 1080p, above 4000 bitrate is usually um, ideal. Although, they recommend 3,000 or more, but I, I feel like that's too pixely for uh, 1080p. But I, I stream on 720p and I do 4,500. I feel like that's 
like overkill but it's i mean it doesn't stutter or anything so it's not pixely so to me it's fine keyframe interval i'll keep that to zero it's on auto uh preset uh you, you have quality you have like super quality or extremely quality or low quality or performance um obviously the lower the list is for worse computers so i would just if your computer is lagging too much on quality then lower it by one and see if it still lags um it's also this depends on your computer same thing with profiles this also depends on your computer power uh obviously uh again here the lower the, on the list the better for um low-end computers uh, i'm on high which is not even the highest there's like there's like super high there's extremely high and there's like overkill high <laughs> Um, but I have on a high is still good for me and then keep these on default uh, I never really played with any of these but I've been told that these were the best settings for it anyway all right so now we're gonna go to recording type standard just keep it on standard uh, recording path just uh, this is where your videos are gonna be they're gonna end up at whenever you're done recording uh, to keep in mind that streaming and recording are totally different when you stream, it'll do these settings. When you record, it'll do these settings. It won't do the same. It won't pick one or the other. Uh, so recording, I do recording. Uh, this is where your processor comes in again. It, I explained it already in uh, streaming here. It's the same thing as here to your coder. Uh, if you have a better processor, go ahead and use a processor. Uh, rate control, CBR as well. Bit rate. I put mine a little higher on this one because I record on 1080p videos for when I record like this video because when I stream I do 720p but when I record is 1080p so I have my bitrate higher for recording so then it works well um, preset and the profile the same thing for me um, it runs it's it looks looks nice as you can see here you can read everything so I feel that's fine uh, for audio track if you're super into editing like right now I have two sounds in my mixer I have my mic that you're hearing my voice out of and you're hearing my music in the background. That's from my headset. Uh, if I have audio track number two, if I go edit the video, then I'll see those two audio tracks. I'll be able to edit them both. So that's good for some people, most people. If you go to audio, here you can change your bitrate for your audio. The higher, the more power, but the better it'll sound. I use, I just keep mine as standard. I just keep mine at the 160, which is the default. Then you got a replay buffer. Uh, you can select that if you want. I never use it, so it just all depends on you as well. Keep in mind that make sure your output mode is on advanced because this is how you'll be able to change all this stuff. If not, then you won't be able to change them all differently like this. All just be one tab, I'm pretty sure. Right, for audio, um, so I, I play with these and whenever I whenever I tested my stream, like when I put this on 48, it started doing a weird glitchy sounds and same thing with this. It all started doing weird glitchy sounds, so I just keep it on stereo and 44.1 because it's the only setting that doesn't do no static sound. It's really weird. Video, this is another really important part, especially if you're going from streaming to recording and recording to streaming. Um, if you're streaming at 720p and recording 19, uh, 1080p, like I am, you have to make sure you change this out this output scale resolution all the time. Make sure this is always on 1920 because this is a you know it's the biggest you you'll go unless you're doing like 4K. But but output scale resolution is what what's what the video like out, exports to you know. So like if if this is 1080p, then it'll be a 1080p video. If it's 20 720p, it'll be a 720p video. So. Right now it's 1080p, which means this video I'm recording right now is, is 1080p. But on my streams it's 720p, so I gotta make sure I change this to 720 uh, to 10 uh, 12 1280 by 720. I gotta make sure I change that to 1280 by 720, like after I record this if I go stream. Um, sadly, this is for recording and streaming, so I don't have like a I can't go go to streaming here and say. Oh, I want this on this and I can't go to recording here and be like, oh, I want this different. So you gotta make sure you change this. Um, for downscale filter, uh, I was I searched this up too. This is apparently the best one. Uh, sharpened scaling 16 samples by Cubic. 
You can go ahead and play with that, see which one matches your liking is the best. <laughs> FPS type, common FPS values, that's that's uh, that's an obvious answer. Uh, it's obviously better than most. Uh, and then FPS values, this is how much FPS your video is going to be on. Right now I'm recording 60 FPS, uh, which is good for HD videos. So make sure this is 60. If it's not, then you might people might see like a little like stutter in your videos. Hotkeys. Uh, this all depends on you. I have hotkeys just for hiding my screen in case like I play 18 plus vid games or something on stream. But this all depends on you. Advanced. Process priority. Okay, right, so this is pretty much the higher it is. Sorry about that. I have to, I have the burps. So the higher it is, the more um, power your computer is going to use to make your video into like a better, into a better, uh, like more HD, more like looks better. Uh, for video, these settings were the best ones I could think of and find online. Uh, they work well for me. Uh, go ahead and play with these if you need, but I feel like these are the best settings. Uh, you can also you, you can also force your GPU as a render device. I do that because it makes my um, videos a lot easier. Like I tested it and it makes my videos a lot different. Audio, I usually just do default or you can just change that into, into whatever if you want to be more precise. Default usually just goes for your output through what you have in your output. Recording, this just brings you like how, you're, how they're going to be titled. Replay buffer, uh, if you have it enabled, you'll be able to uh, edit this. Stream delay. If you want, if you want to, um, if you want to have people like see your stream in the amount of seconds after you you're actually playing, uh, go ahead and enable it. This is good for like stream sniping. So if you're playing, I don't know, Fortnite, people are in your server or something, and you're playing on Mixer fast streaming service, then this is good because they won't be able to tell where you are. Uh, keep this enabled. This is actually really handy. If you disconnect, it'll try and reconnect. It. It's uh, actually pretty good. Network, keep this default. Default, default. Game overlays is all up to you. Um, this actually is kind of new. It came out recently. But I haven't tried it out yet. Scene collections. This is if you're buying a scene collection from like someone else or just using a free one online. Notifications, this is also up to you. It's pretty straightforward. Um... When you're streaming, it'll tell you like, oh, if you got some skip frames or if you're laggy or not. Appearance, all up to you again. Face mask, oh, all up to you. I can see my face. My webcam just turned on. Remote control, this is if you want to control it off your phone. I've tried it. I can't seem to get it to work. I think you got to work on that. So yeah, guys, this is the best settings I could think of for you guys for Streamlabs. Um... I, I hope I got everything. If I did not, if I didn't, leave a comment and I'll try and answer the best I can. And um, I like to remind you guys that this is all information I found online and and uh, throughout my knowledge as well, through like my whole experience of computer hardware and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so I hope this helped you guys. If it did, make sure to leave a like. If it didn't, make sure to leave a like anyway because you're nice people. Hopefully. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.